Sorry this video does not have a proper intro, but in this vlog I'm going to be making my own design of keychain for the first time. And for manufacturing I'm gonna be using Vograce for that because I've seen good reviews about them and I saw their website and it looks so simple and easy to use. My printer was fine using RGB setting and did not have problem with that, but you will see in the next vlog, um, uh, that will be a problem. If you saw my previous vlog, you will know that I already messed up because all my files are in RGB color setting and to make them into keychain, they have to be in CYMK. So I've been doing some research and some people wrote that they transfer the RGB into CYMK and from there they adjust the color until they kind of become similar to the original one so yeah that's what I was doing here okay right now so the solution is to adjust this picture until it become almost like this picture oh uh, yeah that's the only solution so I'm just gonna adjust the colors So I edit the colors and finally I got to one that is a little bit more realistic. This one is like too dark. This one, I don't know, but this one is nice. Played with the saturation and the darkness to achieve that. Hopefully work. Most everyone he's known was dead and he was ready to die. The week he felt getting sick, he knew something So I'm trying to print from my iPad. So I'm gonna print here and then I'm gonna try from my laptop using Affinity Designer. Okay, I give up printing from my iPad. I'm just gonna do it on my laptop. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna adjust the rest of the pictures for the keychain and from now on I'm just gonna draw with CMYK setting yeah sometimes we just learn the hard way <laughs> Snape handed Dumbledore a small glass bottle of completely clear liquid so I've been printing and it uh, look horrible on the camera it is not that dark but I don't know why the camera do that anyway uh yeah I printed two times by accident so i've been just printing i feel like this one is nice and here like i adjust the saturation and this one you cannot see but i don't know why in camera this is like a little bit darker but in real life it's not that bad it's a nice green the bright color the color such as like pink and uh, green i had a little bit of problem with that especially the pink one anyways i was gonna do that big which is about two and a half inches without the outline and that's gonna add about three inches and i feel like it's a little bit big for a keychain but these are like two inches and i feel like it's nicer and more practical if you're gonna use it so i'm gonna cut them right now just to see the size I really hate, hate cutting stickers. I remember doing this, like my first stickers were all, mostly all, hand cut stickers. And there were a lot of them like second or I just threw them because I did not, I was not satisfied with my cutting. You can see why. Anyway, I just, I have no patience for cutting. I don't know why. It bothered me so much. So now I'm just doing it roughly because I just want to see the size. This is so adorable. I feel like the size is nice too. This is the perfect size. So I like the size of these. But these are a little bit too small. This one definitely, definitely need to be bigger. I'm gonna make it the same size. For this one, yeah. I'm gonna make them all the same size. Right now I'm stressing so much about small detail and deep down I know that a lot of things will change because I don't know what... 
I don't know what's gonna happen like the manufacturer and the setting the colors will be a little bit different and the size might be a little bit different I just want to know that I done enough on my side yeah hopefully I can send these tomorrow and well I will see how many I will do I might do only three maybe I will do these so they can be a part of the shop update and then these the reason that I want to do these and this one the Nesco one because they are my favorite and to be honest I want to own them as a keychain there's a part of me that telling me just do it all and they might all work out and there's part of me telling me just do a few and then you can see what you can improve yes it's gonna take a lot of time like the process is gonna be longer but you better stay safe than sorry <laughs> see you tomorrow I got my coffee and I have a snack and today my goal is to send the keychains I just wanna get over with them I feel like I feel like because it's my first time and I never manufacture anything I feel so much anxiety and I feel like I need to make everything right but uh, I'm at a point where I want this thing to finish <laughs> I just want to get over it and just I want it done so today gonna take all my time I'm just gonna focus on this task because if I set another task I know I will distract myself with that task and not do this task so today we're just gonna send the keychain design and it's simple I saw some tutorials and the website have the steps and everything and it's so simple but I don't know, I feel so anxious. <laughs> so yeah, I just need to arrange the layers and arrange the file and just send them. That's the only thing I need to do. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Okay, solve the problem. I just need to go to edit, preference, and then performance. And this thing was turned on, so I just click it off and the problem is fixed. Yay! so from here without me opening the package i can see that the color are so bright look at this one so cute but the color is a little bit too bright i'm glad i got the pink one this one the hair is Okay, so when I printed them at home, this is what I was expecting. This is what I got. Um, uh, to be honest, I'm not happy about them. I'm not gonna lie. And this is not the manufacturer's fault. It's my fault because I did not send... Well, I sent the right file, but after adjusting the color, so... I don't know. I tried printing them. I think my printer only print in RGB. And yeah... So I don't know, do I sell these or do I make a new one and sell these as B grade? I need to think about it. This, is, this one is fine. I don't mind her. Uh, these are not scratches. The, you can remove the film. It's just a protected film. This one? The hair is not right. I need to think about it. <laughs> So I thought about it and I had two choices. The first one is to give up on the keychain and just forget about them. And the second choice is to fix the design and remake them. Not gonna lie, I really wanted 
to give up and just forget about them but i see a lot of creators make similar mistake and they don't give up they just try again and fix it and that's how i will grow and learn because it's not about making mistakes it's about how i will deal with them and what i will learn from them so to make it right i start with the right setting and then i drew them again but this time i did not use watercolor brush i just used normal studio pen brush because i wanted a solid color like i wanted to color to show up more because they were a little bit faded or they were a little bit lighter because of the watercolor brush so that's why i used the normal studio pen brush I don't think it's fair to give a review just based on one product just like if you went to a restaurant and you review it or judge it based on one dish or one item what I like the most about them is their website is so easy to use and I'm really anxious person especially at the beginning I really did not want to contact manufacturer I don't know how to communicate and Vograce make it so easy to communicate with them submitting your order is so easy and in the future i really want to try other product i want to make some washi tape and i'm really interested in the wooden pins they look so cute the thing that i noticed after placing an order that you can order some sample i did not notice that and they have this sample pack that i'm really interested in so i feel like it will be a good guide for me i might do a review for it so i think the shop will be open at the beginning of june and i will keep you updated on my instagram so if you want to know go follow me there and i think this vlog will be the last vlog before the shop update because i don't know if i will have the time to edit another video before the shop so so another studio vlog will be published the same time as the shop update or it will be after the shop update i'm not really sure the second thing is that i'm gonna start shipping internationally so when the shop open i will post which country i will be shipping to and you will find more information and detailed information on my website but if you did not find your country you can dm me on my instagram or you can email me and i will make sure to add your beautiful country to the list so i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's not perfect but that's the reality and that's what happened to me it's a learning process and i'm gonna still learn and i will always learn new stuff and the goal is just to keep improving as long as i have this mindset i feel like i'm doing pretty good <laughs> so this is not the end i'm gonna still explore new product i am accepting that i'm gonna make mistake in the future but i also willing to fix them and learn from them so yeah if you want to follow this journey please don't forget to subscribe and hope you have a wonderful day and take care bye